daylight was just breaking and the sun was just starting to come up and the car was sitting out there. The light was just hitting it perfectly in every way. And there was no one there, it was me. And I was able to walk up to it and look at it and sit inside it and really feel like I'm getting ready to take off. It's the opportunity of a lifetime to do something like this. Everybody knows Mustang from way back. 50 years, th that's a big deal. It is iconic. When a car captures the spirit of an age, when it inspires countless songs, you know it's more than just a car. There is no question, it's a huge responsibility. How do you do it better? Working in the studio, you stand on the same floor where original Mustang was made. You see this huge pony on the wall reminding you, we can't screw this car up. You start off, you know, originally with sketches. Everything starts with a 2D sketch. I started uh, sketching you know, on the side view to this fastback profile. We're gonna change the proportion of this car. We're gonna make this car lower, we're gonna make this car wider, bringing it back to the original roots in a modern way. Now we had elements in the interior that we knew a Mustang had to have. Large analog gauges in front of the driver. It had to have a double brow theme. We were really going for something that felt more efficient. So we started looking at airplane wings and how they go together and how they're constructed. And that's kind of where we picked up on this cockpit of an airplane, fighter pilot kind of feel. As they're designing, we are developing colors, materials, fabrics, perforation patterns on the leather. And then they start creating the three-dimensional clay models. The clay modeling process helps all of us to translate that sketch into the three-dimensional object. We communicate to our clay modelers with the tape. Everything flows from one stage to the next stage. First we plan, then we design, then we're into the engineering. We're running simulations constantly. Because the car is all new, we had to do a lot of testing. Everything from the way the car rides, to how it steers, to what it sounds like. We have a new EcoBoost engine. It gives you that great performance. It feels very nimble and light. It sounds fantastic. The independent rear suspension was huge. It allowed us to have more tuning knobs to give great handling. The car feels more nimble, feels lighter, it's more agile. We've taken our five liter now and we've pushed it to 435 horsepower. This wasn't just reskin it, throw some new technologies at it. This car is something that's never been before. This car is the heart and soul of Ford Motor Company. It's a new modern interpretation of a Mustang. When you start the car, you get a rumble. You're flipping the switches and really feel like I'm getting ready to take off. gives you that feeling that like you think about the Mustang and first what comes up is freedom. You think about the Mustang and first what comes up to your mind is spirit of freedom. You don't have to reinvent the Mustang. You have to just make it better. It's the opportunity of a lifetime for a designer to do something like this. Everybody knows the car. I couldn't wait to get my hands on the paper and the pencil, just start sketching. So we said, okay, what are we gonna do? We're gonna change the proportion of this car, put the bones in the right spot, bringing it back to the original roots. There's basically three things when you look at the Mustang. There's this fastback profile, and there's this tri by tail lamps on the back is the shark nose on the front. It almost appears like it's gonna bite your head off. For me, it was important to have this sleek look, taking elements away instead of adding them. 
We were really going for something that felt more efficient, and so we encapsulated the airbag into the glove box door. That just totally transformed what the design was gonna look like. Everything just became much, much leaner, much like a wing. And that's where we picked up on this cockpit of an airplane, fighter pilot kind of feel. There isn't anything that we didn't touch or look at. An absolute obsession with detail. You can draw a line in a computer which is absolutely perfect. But once you see it milled out, it needs that certain human touch. The sketch becomes reality. You know, when you're putting a car together, trying to keep it a secret as you're going through the testing and development, it's difficult. Everyone wants to know what we're doing. People climb trees and try to get photos. They'll peek through windows. They'll do everything they can to try to get that shot. We'll go to great lengths to make sure we protect the secrecy in this car. Because the car is all new from bumper to bumper, we had to do a lot of testing. We do it for almost anything you could think of, from radio reception to wind noise, the way the car rides, how it steers. With selectable drive modes, we are going to set your steering, to set your throttle response, we're going to optimize it for you. We're going to allow you to change any of those settings that you want. Convertible top operates twice as fast as the current one today. We redid the entire suspension system front to back. We've got a double ball joint front suspension now allowing us to have better steering and handling. Our EcoBoost engine is almost equivalent to the V8 back in 2010. The V8 has a very specific sound. We have engineers that their entire purpose is to make sure that our Mustangs sound incredible. You're going to punch the accelerator down to the floor. The sound is going to come alive, and the car is going to jerk you back. This car is something that's never been before.